itch, itch, itch. <gasps> I touched my mouth. Um, a little warning for the, the, well, I shouldn't do it that way. I'm going to talk about attitude. I've talked about this before. But there's, there's, attitude and faith, I'll, I'll kind of put these in the same thing. I'll talk a little bit about a faith thing first, and then I'll, I'll, I'll we'll go to the attitude. Uh, you don't have to be a Christian to get something out of this. But let's say you're a new, you're a Christian, maybe you're a new Christian, and we're taught to share our testimony with other people, friends and family, which we should, not against that. Um, but we find out that the people we're sharing our testimony with aren't interested, and some aren't even supportive. Um, and so the Bible says you got to count your cost, count the cost, make a stand. Okay, this is where I'm at, this is where I'm going, this is the map I'm using, here's where I'm headed. You're with me or not, whatever. Uh, and then that's the direction you go. It can be real lonely. That's why we depend on above. Um, so a lot of people, what they do, especially new Christians, will do this. Well, I don't want to make my friends uncomfortable talking about Jesus or the Bible or whatever I'm doing. Or maybe you're a church goer, or whatever the case is. So you don't want to make your friends feel uncomfortable, or you don't want them, maybe hear them complain about it, or whatever the case is. So you stop talking about it, and you start to, it's something you do privately. Okay? Now, this goes to kind of the attitude thing. These people have nothing to lose. These people that may not be supporting you, or interested. And you have nothing to gain. The, the, you, you end up, when you're doing something like this, it weakens your energy to stay on this path. Well, I don't want to talk about it to them because it makes them uncomfortable. I don't want to lose the friendship. I don't want to lose this relationship. You know, I'm going to stress the relationship, so I'll just kind of tone it down. It's just a little thing I do over here. I do it privately or whatever. That's not healthy for your faith. Okay. Because your faith really needs to be something that encompasses, over, overcomes all of that. Hey, you're in or you're out. I'm, I'm on the bus. I'm going in this direction. You're either with me or not. If you want to stay, you stay. That's, that's fine. Now, I'm a very solo kind of person. That's real easy for me. When, and when I got in the Bible, my family was very supportive. Um, thank God. So, But now I'll, I'll, I'll say the same thing about attitude. Let's say you're going to college, you're going to school, or you're trying to achieve something, whether it's a physical thing or something at work or whatever the deal. You're trying to achieve something. You get from point A to point B. Or you want to be at this part of, of um, you want to accomplish this thing. Maybe you're going to Taekwondo or something, whatever. Most people realize, I hope, that to do something like that, it takes a, a not just a positive attitude, but you got to have the right attitude for whatever it is you're trying to do. You need to have the right attitude. That is the, that is the, uh, that's what keeps you on track. And that's what drives your momentum is your attitude. Okay. So if you have this goal, something you want to achieve, you know, you need to, to have this right attitude to do that. And you have to maintain this attitude until you reach your goal. You reach this achievement. Okay. But yet in your spare time, you're hanging around with downers, doom and gloom, non-supportive, people not going, people not goal-oriented. Okay. That's the same thing. You want to tell them, hey, man, you're going somewhere, you're doing this, and they're all down and out, whatever, you know, negative, hate the world, whatever kind of thing. So you, you tone it down. You don't talk about it. Um, it's this private thing you do over here, reaching this achievement, this goal, because you don't want to, you don't want to, um, stress this relationship over here they have nothing to lose and you have nothing to gain all in or all out if you've got this goal if you're goal oriented you're going towards this thing it should consume all of you oh i need to tone it down because i got to hang out with these people that aren't going anywhere that's it that that affects you more than it doesn't affect them that that weakens the energy behind this attitude that you must maintain. Oh, I got to tone it down, or I got to be quiet about. It. I got to put it away while I'm with these people. Man, if you got if you got something you're trying to do, and you know it takes a positive attitude, it should be hard to sleep because this this thing is it is driving you. Oh, I got to turn it off. Maybe you got a girlfriend. She just want to hear about this thing. You know, I don't have to tell you there. 
but she needs to be on the next bus in my opinion but I've always been selfish that way um, and I'm a solo person I've got I've, um, I've always my family has always been supportive of me whether it was you know the faith or something else and so and I'm not married I don't have kids or anything like that I'm gonna be nagging at me um, that probably sounds negative but anyhow hopefully you get what I'm saying if it's about your faith no one's going to be excited about it. Only you. But yet, if they don't want to be supportive, okay. But don't let them sap the energy out of what you're trying to do. And if it's about an attitude or something that you need to, to reach your achievement, you've got this goal, you're going to do some wild thing that no one else believes you can do. If they're not supportive, blow them off. Don't be near these people. I, I They're like vampires. You know, they're energy vampires. Suck the energy right out of you. Do not... You have, you have to maintain... You have the job of maintaining this correct driving attitude to complete, to reach this goal, to reach this achievement, to complete this task. Do not let other relationships, other people, you could be watching videos. You know, we got a lot of crap going on in the world today. Everyone's getting sick or whatever. It's all going to be bad or could be terrible. And it could, whatever, okay. I'm not taking the time to let these things affect either my faith or attitude for the uh, goals that I am trying to accomplish. Hey, I could get sick, I could get this coronavirus thing or whatever and kick off and die. Okay, bummer, too bad. But in the meantime, goal-oriented, I've got to maintain that attitude. Attitude is everything, whether it's behind your faith or behind your goal or your achievement or whatever the case is. Do not let this world sap the energy out of you and what you are trying to do. I don't care how bad it gets out there. Now, if your goal in life, I don't want to go there because that would be negative. People get all freaked out. Um, remember, on YouTube, as anywhere else, like the news, the news, the news is trying to create something, just like a lot of YouTube is trying to create something. Okay, it's a lot of negative. Everything, you know, if, if it bleeds, it leads. Okay, there you have it. Um, but this does not need to affect you. I have, we have a, a, a friends and family at work. They'll watch the news. I tell them, turn that stuff off. Nothing's changed between today and yesterday. It's just as bad. Well, what? turn it off. You know that? Have you reached your goals? Have you accomplished everything you've wanted to do today? Well, no, I need to go. Then turn this thing off and go do that thing. You've already turned off your attitude and you're listening to this guy on the television. He's not here to support you. See? So don't just... You have to maintain your faith and the energy behind it. You have to maintain your attitude and the energy behind it. Do not let the people, do not let the world, do not let YouTube videos come in there and mess with your action, man. You got to keep moving forward. Like I said, there's a lot a lot of positive things going on right now. Although you can't see it for the fog of doom and gloom and death and all the stuff that's going on. You know, kind of, we, we've, I don't want to get into that stuff. Start talking about that. You know what I mean. You got to protect your attitude at all costs. Love you. God bless.